What's going on guys? How you guys doing? Hey, this is Mario Burr here and glad you're taking the time out to watch this here video. And what I'm going to be sharing here is how to get conversations started in your social media posts. So whether you have a, a business opportunity that you are offering, a service and or a product, this will get conversation started by implementing um, these two simple things that I'm going to share with you in this video, get you to be the person that people come to because you're going to be the problem solver, the person of authority that people come to. So it doesn't matter what your niche is. If you're in a travel, if you're in, um, if you're in weight, the health and wellness, if you are offering some type of service, a legal service, what have you, it doesn't matter. This will help you out to be able to get conversations started where people will be more likely to want what it is that you have to offer. And by doing these two things that I'm sharing with you, you will be able to build an audience of people that are attracted to you and to the point where those conversations get started, you'll be that's by engaging or they will engage you. You go back and forth with them and solve their problem based on the content that you are going to post by doing these two things that I'm going to share with you, which will make it easier for them to sell for you to sell to them. So this will get you to the point where they will know you, they will like you and they will trust you to the point where they'd be willing to um, either join you, buy from you, or become a repeat customer. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. And let's use the weight loss. Um, let's use weight loss for uh, as the prime example here. Now, granted, you can use this in all those other three areas, you know, your products, your service, and or your business opportunity. Now, at the end of this, I'm going to share with you five top, I'm going to share with you where you could get access to five top um, posts that we use every single day in our businesses on social media, mainly Facebook that I like to use. That's my main um, social media site and YouTube that I personally like to use to um, be able to get those conversations started, get them off there to the, the message me and or to call me. And they, that's when I could go ahead and offer my product as the solution. So the first thing we want to do, let's talk about the weight loss industry as the example. The first thing you want to do is learn something new. Okay, learn something new. Okay, so weight loss is the example. So say you have a shake. Okay, learn something about that shake. Then after learning something about your shake, you can go ahead and teach it. That's the second thing. Teach it. Okay. But you do it in such a way as you don't come off like everyone else that you see. So if you go to groups on Facebook, nine times out of 10, what are you going to see? People pitching their businesses everywhere. Join my business. Or if you um join, you know, my business today, or if you buy my product, Today, you could get the second one half off. This is the best product in the world if you want to lose weight. I just, and they show before and after pictures. I lost 15 pounds in two weeks or what have you. And I use, I drank this shake. It has the best ingredients there is as far as burning off fat. This ingredient right here was found down in the Amazon or and down in the ocean in jellyfish or what have you. And it's known to burn fat, you know, and you don't want to come off like that. That's sharing what it is, what you want to do after after you learn something about your product is you want to share the benefits of it. Share how it helped you or share how it helped someone on your team or someone else you may know, a customer or what have you. Share that, but you do it in such a way that you don't share the name of the product. You don't share the name of the company. You don't put hashtag name of company, hashtag name of product. You don't share any links or anything like that. You create a post, you know, whether it be a live video, a video, or a post with a great picture, but you have a story around it of how it helped you out or someone else. You say, hey, 
I'm so happy that I was able to lose 15 pounds in 30 days with drinking this um, amazing steak. I'm so happy about it. Or you could talk about a team member that, that someone you know, or you know, someone on your team or someone who had um, some type of results. Maybe it's a customer. You could say, hey, I wanna give a shout out to um, Nancy who lost 15 pounds in 30 days, you know, um, from drinking this amazing shake. Way to go, Nancy. So happy that you are just killing it. You're, you're looking great or, or what have you. Get creative to the point where those who want to lose weight, what are they gonna do? They're gonna reach out to you and they're gonna message you. They're gonna say, hey, what is this shake that you're talking about? Because you know, I'm interested in losing weight. You know, I want to get in, you know, get in shape. That's the first thing. That's what you do. You learn something new and you teach it to the point where such a way that you you create curiosity. Okay. You don't ever want to come off. And you don't want to give away all of the goods. You want to have people asking you about your product, your service, and or your business opportunity. That's how you do this. So learn something new. After that, you teach it. Now, check this out. Now, if you have a, a, some type of market, marketing strategy is you can go ahead and target people that ha that's having problems in their network marketing business. What's the main issue with them? They don't have a way to generate leads. You can show them how to generate leads. Maybe you have, you, you learned something on a, 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 um, a video that you were on, um, a, a webinar that you were on, okay, from a top leader that's getting major results. So maybe there are 10 steps on how to generate leads. So on your social media site, you could share t three out of those 10, okay? And you could say, hey, Here's three tips on how to generate leads. I was just on this uh, amazing webinar training by such and such leader. You know, he shared these three tips. So you could go ahead and start sharing those uh, tips. And at the end of your video or at the end of the post, you could say, hey, guys, if you like this type of stuff and you want to know more of where this comes from, you know, get with me because there aren't three. There are actually 10. So if you want to know the other seven, message me and I'll share it with you. So guys, that's how you do this. As simple as that. Simple as that. So learn something new and teach it, okay, about your business, product, or service. And if and make sure that you always have curiosity implemented to the point that you are not giving away all the goods because you want, you want to get people's juices flowing, right? So wanted to take the time out to share this with you guys. And if this was helpful to you, Guys, if you want to know how to um, create these conversations even deeper, now I only share it with you one way to do this. There are actually five different type of posts that you could post on your, your um, social media sites to be able to get these conversations started, right? So if you want to know more about this down in the description, go ahead and click the link and I'll be more than happy to um, reveal those secrets to you five top curiosity posts to be able to get conversations started. So you could be able to have a way to generate leads, get um, more recruits and sales and repeat customers um, in your business. So this is Mario Bird and make sure that you subscribe to my um, video, uh, subscribe to my channel, like my video, comment, comment what you like, even what you didn't like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So this is Mario Bird, see you guys next time.